pr good. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. And of course, now we're going to talk to the Nijima sisters. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This taste of it bland. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite a statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? And that hits a moral gray area. Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. But it all depends on the means, but that's where the moral gray really kicks in. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? I mean, we kind of got that going with the cops right now and over here in the States. They think that they're, that they think that what we're doing, they think that the person in, or the culprit is doing a wrong. So instead of going the formal law abiding way, they take it matters into their own hands and they're not always right. And in the end, people's lives get hurt and some get killed. So yeah, I'm not really a fan of the whole taking the law into your own hands scenario. I've had enough of that crap going on right now to actually disapprove of it. Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. Yeah. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. It's just an opinion. No need to be apologizing. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Oh, I can't eat another bite. <laughs> that was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. <laughs> What's wrong, Yusuke? <laughs> I just figured out what they were doing. They were trying to sneak a look. <laughs> I, Morgana, Morgana might be a guy after all. He got the urges. We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Wow, we done with that, bro. Just leave it for next time, man. No one's hungry for that. She's asleep already. Wow. It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know Om? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, we went to middle school together. They must have stood out a lot. Well, actually, he blonde his hair in high school, so... What was Lady Om like back then? Probably the same she is now, but less friendly or less friends-like. Not so different from now. Yeah, I figured as much. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas, 
Busters are Lux. The popular kids hate her. The quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? I mean, we did pry into his business, so he has the right to pry into ours. All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. Dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. She feels that you've put the responsibility on yourself to help her out since there's no man in the house to help her take care of the situation. And she feels that if she had taken more responsibility, you wouldn't need you wouldn't feel the need to do these actions, to do these to take this uh burden upon yourself. I get that. I mean I actually do get that heavily because of the situation in my house. But I mean when life throws at you certain things, you gotta take that and go with it. We only get one, so we can't be bitching about what we don't have and what we do have. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! Dude, he looks drunk as hell. If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you yes. think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you. Bruh, this is some bullshit! Shut up. You're done for. I mean, what's even worse about the situation is that this defends the whole keep your head down. Because now you put yourself in unwanted, necessary danger, and all you had to do was ignore something that wasn't your problem, concern, or dilemma. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. I mean, heroic acts in reality get actually cr uh, punished. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh. It's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And what's worse is that we have no way of defending us. And this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name is mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Yes, sir. He said earlier that the police are his bitches. And he is not wrong. They immediately know who this guy is and they're like, we can't do nothing. Hey, cop him. Understood. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! This is where the serious ugliness about the situation plays in that I dislike. Justice in the society world is written 
by the victors. We're supposed to do the right thing and supposed to do the things that go the law. On your just for that. We're, we're supposed, but the people in power can change the rules and the law to benefit themselves. And that's people be like, well, the system is flawed. The system isn't so much as flawed. It's the people around the system who warp it and change it. There is no such thing as a system that cannot be warped, changed, or, or corrupted. There is not one. Even our way of doing things can get warped and corrupted. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. Well, what's she supposed to do? She's just gonna throw her life away for some kid on the street she doesn't know? Like, what is she supposed to do in that situation? That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? I don't remember much. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I mean, like, what would the woman do in that situation? If giving, if putting, if throwing her social standing away puts him at, puts him out, locks him down, sure. But she's gonna throw her stuff away for nothing. Nothing's gonna change when she does it. I can't. I actually I can't agree with doing that. That's that's not bravery or that's not bravery at all. That's stupid. If you're gonna throw your life away, do it for something that matters. Don't do it for don't do it to don't do it for something that won't change anything. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. He's a felon now. I can't stand it. This world is so messed up. Ain't that the truth, bruh. Ain't that the truth. The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want. It's not the rotten adults, it's the rotten higher-ups. Cause even kids can have the same situation. It's all a social standing and a hierarchy system. And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Well they can't, or they just won't. Don't, they just don't care. And probably have the people in the higher ups, and probably have the people who have the power, who are like, well, I had this power myself because nobody helped me. So why should I help someone else when I got nothing out of it as well in this situation? Can't we fix this though? Nobody would even know. Yeah, we could, but like I said earlier, is heavily there's heavy flaws in our system as well. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. And careful, bro. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. Your power is to even the playing field that's already been. The game, this world and this game has been cheated out of, and we gotta even the playing field. Still, cheating for the sake of cheating. I mean, it's like, well, they're doing it, we can do it too. I feel it, but it feels a sense of we can't really talk down to people if we're doing it as well. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Kind of. Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. More likely we just got a kindred spirit or a similar personality. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Bruh, you fit into a T of this group. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. Hmm. No doubt. <coughs> we'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. 
Look, I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. Don't be Sundere cats, okay? If you don't get stronger, investigating the Mentos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, all an act, though. let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. We're going to need outside help. We can't do this on our own. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. In fact, I think getting the confidants is supposed to help us as well. Like, we can't do this stuff on our own. We're going to need confidants. We're going to need training. We're going to need outside help to help bring this to justice. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. You don't know everything, bro. We can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Leave it to me, y'all. We'll, I'll make sure that we go far with this. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced it, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. <laughs> what kind of nickname is that? I mean, it is true. There's a bathhouse down here. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Right, I guess she's gone for the day. Well, it's just us dudes. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. Can't let her get taken by someone else. Aww, he's trying so hard. Ah, oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. It's a bit hot though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. Oh my God! You do not want to know what I think of her. She is breathtaking. Oh, you straight up said it. Yeah, bro. Her looks totally make up for her overbearing personality. I'll be sure to share what you've said with Ah! I forget you escape that guy that we can't be saying stuff like this too. That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that though. Talking in famous people enough, seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. How long is that guy gonna keep turning the knob? We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. I just noticed they all naked too. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so. Hmm. Still. Ugh, it's freaking hot! <laughs> How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? <laughs> Fun. That was fun. Check out the pics I took today. Ah, that was pretty nice. Not bad, right? The steam fogged up his glasses. Oh yeah, it sure did. Another of one of the many charms of eating hot pot, I suppose. Oh man, I was looking back at this picture and Akira's face is still hilarious. Oh yeah, Yusuke, 
it's it's still Akira's place. It's still Akira's place, right? Don't go make any trouble for him, okay? Of course. I like not to think that I. I like to think I'm not that socially graceless. All I can say is a warm futon and a traditional Japanese breakfast. That's asking a lot, bro. Not everyone does that. society and are standing up against such fates have you noticed they seem to have influenced you <laughs> these picaresque dissidents of society deepen your bonds with them those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation i look forward to it I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. What is this? May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. I feel like my bond of Igor is growing deeper. Super shock. Increase your persona stock to, stocks to 10. All right. All right. It's almost time. Dang, just when we're starting to get good.